This is part two of showing you the makeup techniques that make celebrities' makeup look so much better than ours. We left off at the bronzer. I'm not going to be doing the stick on our face, but applying it with a brush. The brush really is a game changer because it doesn't move the product around. It allows for very sheer layering. Great blend. No more bronzing stick on the face. You heard it here first. Now that we finished putting on the bronzer, we're going to set with a loose setting powder. I like Cody Airspun because I'm cheap. Okay, I'm not cheap. I've just been using it for years and it totally works for me. But the only one that I would recommend from Cody is the Translucent Extra Coverage 70 to 41. All the other ones are shite. I'm only going to apply this in the areas where I put the foundation. Carefully avoiding this area where it's basically just my skin with the underpainted cheek stain. Like, I have no beauty filter on and you can't even tell that I'm wearing foundation because of this technique. Actually, shockingly good. I'm gonna finish with a little bit more powder blush on top. I love this really dark one from ColourPop because it kind of gives black honey vibes, but in a blush. Defining the tip of my nose with that blush. Lightly tapping that to the front of my cheeks. And on the front of my chin for good measure. I need to wax my nose hairs. I have a little freckle right above my lip and I just love the placement of it, so I like to darken it up. For the eyebrows, I'm using the glue from NYX. Stuff keeps my eyebrows in place all day. I'm gonna do a little bit of brown eyeliner, but just at the edge of my eye. Taking my finger, I'm just gonna swipe along the edge of it and boom, perfect little wing. Another pro tip is I like to use brown mascara. It's less harsh, especially for somebody with lighter features like myself. Finish with your favorite lip combo. And voila, this is how the skin looks in natural light. You gotta do this look.